I'm tired. Uh, I had a productive morning. And uh, I'm not dissatisfied with how it went. But, uh, yeah, uh, that combined with um, all, a whole lot of stuff that uh, that went down between then and now and uh, just life in general, um, including the fact that I went on a, a nine mile run. I wanted it to be a 10 mile run, but I needed to get back. Um, so I, I, I kind of cut it short. Um, but it's extremely like smoky and muggy. Um, and like, you know, it reminds me a lot of LA and it's not LA, it's Spokane. So like there's, there's a significant amount of smog in the air, like enough to contend with, but like it's from local fires and shit. So I ran in that like nine miles. I, I cut it short, um, because I needed to get back. Um, so, uh, enter, you know, non-brand specific blue stuff because, uh, I'm still not quite back yet. <laughs> so this will probably actually be one of the short ones and it'll be like, you know, um, 10 minutes ish, but I wanted to talk about, uh, some of the stuff that uh, was said today. Um, you know, when I wasn't <laughs> having a nice little exchange with with people that I'll probably be going over tomorrow about the Azov Battalion uh, and the fact that there's still a problem and that there's still a Nazi problem, um, you know, I'll probably be going over that tomorrow. Uh, there, there was another discussion, um, and this other discussion um, was... Basically, I made this 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 tweet and I said, we have a president who jailed millions for drug crimes and did nothing about his son's drug crimes, said Saudi Arabia would be pariah and then fist bumped them over five billion dollars in weapon sales, opposed Trump's bo border wall and immigration policy and then put more kids in cages and the wall is being finished. I'm not going to say who it is. There's a possibility he caught my drift in the end, right? Got to rip that off. I have not gotten an endorsement from from the, these people and I'm going to be actually a little bit more specific with what I accept in my videos because I need to make fucking money and I'm tired of not making fucking money. So, if uh if you're uh, brand specific blue electrolyte fluid wants me, they're gonna have to pay me. But let's be uh, clear and specific. The reason this tweet got discussed uh, primarily was the fact that um, somebody in there, in this group, uh, which is just an awful group for any sort of serious discussion, um, called Libertarians and Communists, a people-friendly corporation. It's fucking unfriendly as fuck. I'll put it that way. It's it's also along the same lines as groups run by this Richard Thruster guy, who is exactly what he sounds like, you know, and, and the group, the groups he runs turn into neoliberal circle jerks really fucking quickly. I don't, you know, necessarily blame um, the guy who runs it, um, but he could get involved more and actually state some good positions because when he acts, uh, actually asks me what, you know, I think and what proof I have, he finds out I have proof. That's the thing. Like, people, if, if, if you want me to, like, prove something... Uh, you know, or if you, if you want me to, uh, treat you with respect, treat me with respect and just say, Hey, um, do you have a source for this? And I would be happy to give a source. But if you just assume that I'm wrong, I probably won't, which is what the primary people in that group do. Um, and the primary people in this other group and, you know, probably a bunch of associated groups that these people are used to circle jerking in. 
and not getting any negative feedback in. It's really fucking irritating. But the irritation today primarily came when <laughs> this guy, and I'm not going to say who he is, there's a possibility, you know, we're on at least more even keels at this point. I don't fucking know. Maybe someday I'll show his name if he really fucking pisses me off. But, like, the point is that he took it super personally, the wall part. And when I started to link a bunch of articles that said it was a wall, he said, no, it's not a wall. It's a fence, you know. And that was after coming at me with, uh, with the wall isn't being finished. So I, I, I took a screenshot of uh, an NBC article saying Biden administration to fill border wall gaps near Yuma, Arizona. And then <laughs> he just continues with this barrage of bullshit. And he's like, yeah, that's not the wall being finished. The policy of every administration for the past few decades has been to erect and maintain fencing on the border. Is it dumb and bad? Yes, but that's not Trump's wall. And I said, it's literally Trump's wall. And and the fact that it's a little bit like now means that he's violating his campaign promise that there wouldn't be another foot. If you give Biden a foot of border wall, and I quote it, NP fucking R. When NPR agrees with me, you're dumb pro-Biden or at least, you know, anti-anti-Biden sentiment needs to go. Um, and I, And I posted this in order to be nice and safe. He would later go on to mock me for posting liberal stuff and not being radical enough. But the article he showed to bolster his point was from CN fucking N, which I think is fucking hilarious. If you want to accuse me of being a propagandized anti-radical, don't use CNN, you cunt. Holy shit. Um, you know, and... Uh, I would have used, like, the Free Thought Project or the World Socialist website or something like that if, if I thought he wouldn't have a meltdown that I wasn't using his preferred radical source or something like that. So I went with the safe option and I used multiple articles. I quoted NPR, Newsweek, NBC... And the NPR article says presumptive Democratic nominee Joe Biden says if elected, he would not tear down the parts of the barrier along the U.S. southern border built during the Trump administration, but he would cease construction. Quote, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. Number one, he told NPR's Lulu Garcia Navarro during an interview with journalists from the National Association of Black Journalists and National Association of Hispanic Journalists. I'm going to make sure that we have board protection, but it's going to be based on making sure that we have high-tech capacity to deal with it. And the ports of entry, that's where the best is happening. The former vice president said during the virtual interview on Tuesday. So, he said that that would be the thing. And then he lied. Because he's building more fence. And yeah, it's a fence. But Trump called it a wall. He called it a wall when he wanted to oppose Trump. And all these news sites are calling it a wall. And so if he's going to say that that's the wall and then say he won't build another foot, it's irrelevant whether it's a fucking wall or not to whether or not he fucking lied. So it eventually devolves into this motherfucker like... <laughs> <laughs> quoting, uh, quoting his uh, curriculum vitae at me, like he's got a he's got a posture up, like oh I was fighting cops at OWS and I'm so radical and <laughs> and um and then later on, uh, it really gets to the meat of it, because he has the audacity to say that you know, well everybody knows that. Everybody knows that people break campaign promises. Like, let me read this. <laughs> um, look, no one's going to give you shit about re reacting to the news. Just think for yourself, for fuck's sake. As if I don't. As if that's not superior posturing. 
Like, that's what this group and associated groups are full of. It's full of people faux posturing. And they're really used to people sucking them off for that. Like, holy shit. But I don't, and that's why they don't like me, because I'm not contributing to their stupid fucking dopamine loop. Um, and I said, I've been thinking for myself, you just want to act superior, and you're defaulting to this. You can keep doing that if you want me. I'm at mile one on my run already. This kid, which he had called me earlier, has a youthful appearance to maintain, and part of that is self-improvement rather than having radicalism contests on Facebook. And 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 I posted a reel, too, in response to that, because it's happened so much. If you want to say I'm a kid, that's fucking awesome, because clearly I'm aging fucking amazingly. Like, if I don't look my age, and I'll leave that up to the audience to guess what that is. If I don't look my age, fucking great. Awesome. I'm going to live longer than most of these people. And that's probably part of their irritation. And he says, if you were thinking for yourself, you wouldn't be parroting media talking points about a wall that wasn't even relevant when it was relevant. Here's what happened. November midterms around the corner. GOP is trying to hold Biden's feet to the fire. Already unfulfilled campaign promises from before COVID. You didn't notice things have changed quite a bit since then. You're ready to go after Biden at leaving many of the kids that Trump stole in cages. That's actually a huge problem, one the Democrats like to ignore. However, there's still substantial differences between Biden and Trump's approach. Biden is at least no longer purposefully stealing children in a bid to scare away new asylum seekers. There is no way Biden intends to finish the wall. The wall was a dumb symbolic issue that Trump's own staffers admitted publicly was just a way to get him to talk about infrastructure since he would only ever ramble about off the cuff about whatever he felt like. That's opposing to say message. Lots of bluster. Nothing of substance. And I said, nah. Expecting people... Explaining to people how much presidents lie is not antithetical to thinking for oneself. You can falsely believe it does if it gives you a sense of superiority, but you're not superior. He's like, the presidents... Everyone knows presidents lie about campaign promises, and you have zero reason to care about the fence everyone keeps calling a wall. Zero reason. To care. And I said, except I don't agree with the concept of borders, and this is an inroad with certain Biden supporters who might be on the fence, where I can t work the conversation, uh, wor uh, I think I misspelled here, wor work the conversation toward a borderless world. I don't care about this because I feel betrayed. I never supported Biden. I care because it's more government and because it's a way to help the common person see past the myth of electoral politics. When both parties serve essentially the same function and differences are routinely lied about and walked back, it's a way for me to point out the fact that people who still think you can get changed by voting for people like Biden need to rethink things. When who gets to assume, uh, or are you the only ones, sorry, Maybe think for yourself or something. Or are you the only one who gets to assume people don't do that? I mean, I am talking to somebody so clearly superior. I would hate to tread on your toesies. I need to correct some spelling errors, but, you know, other than that and my stumbling here because I'm fucking tired, it's a relatively salient point. If you're an anarchist, one of your jobs should be to bring up that the system lies. One of your jobs should be to bring up that these establishment politicians fucking lie and if you don't how are you going to convince the common person that anarchy is the way forward how are you going to prove that radicalism is necessary how are you going to do that if you don't fucking try to track any of the reasons why people should believe you i don't i don't believe that i don't believe that people are just going to walk away because we, you know, like I said the other day, like, we vibrated higher, or we fought cops at OWS. What the fuck did OB OWS do? What, what the fuck did OWS do? 
Like, I get that they may have, like, rustled some jimmies for a bit, but ultimately, what the fuck did they do? Uh, things are worse now than they were then, by a damn sight. Right fucking now! If you wanted to occupy Wall Street again, now is your fucking chance! Especially with the central bank digital currency coming out. Or do you OWSers not care about universal cashless money with zero privacy f from you to the government? Isn't that something to fucking occupy over? Or do you not give a fuck because there are blue people in power? Holy shit. Nobody cares that you fought cops at OWS. Nobody cares about your curriculum vitae. Nobody in any authentically radical circle, would rather listen to that than somebody say, hey, yeah, Biden lied about all these things and is participating in the justifying ideologies. Maybe we should do something about that and oppose him. If you want people on your side, you're going to have to prove to them that that's what's positive, that that's what's good and necessary. If you don't prove it, you have no reason to suspect that they're going to hop on pop and say, yeah, I'll go help you occupy. I'll get the shit beat out of me by cops for what again? Um, 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 we're radicals, dude. We're totally radical. Whoa, far out, man. What are you doing now? OWS was so fucking long ago. What are you fucking doing now? All these people acting like they've got a resume and that means that they're exempt from criticism in the modern day. Holy fucking shit, shut the fuck up. Or these other people like the other day, the guy who triggered that uh, long ass video there saying, oh, they've already lost. We just need to vibrate higher and increase our consciousness. Shut the fuck up. If they've already lost, then you're actively uh, proving yourself wrong by saying anybody needs to be convinced or anybody is wrong. Because if they've already lost, then there's zero purpose to your activism at all. You could just hang back and toke. They haven't already lost, and everybody knows that. And they lie all the time. And the people who are adherent to a certain party or mentality, they need to be told that. And if you're not willing to, if you're not willing to reach out like I do um, and talk to Trumpets about how Trump lied to them or, you know, Biden bots about how fucking Biden lied to them. If you're not willing to do that, you're not going to get your populist movement. You're not going to get another Occupy. You're not going to get jack fucking shit done. So yeah, you should talk about why, like, these people lie and, and, and the amount of times they lie. And you should talk about that because it's your way of breaking people out. I used to be a Bush supporter. It took a lot of people to tell me I was full of shit and I didn't really support him for any good reason, and he's a lying, uh, psychopathic, evil person. Don't assume that you're so superior just because you have a curriculum vitae or because you, you, uh, you, you, you have the enlightened information. You don't. You don't have the enlightened information. You're not awesomely superior. And this goes for the other bitch I was arguing with in that same group who wanted to act all superior because he votes, but he also does all this other stuff. Like, okay, maybe, but voting is actively counterproductive and so is the entire election process. And I can prove it, and I did, but nothing was good enough for him. And he, he eventually, even after acting like the only real way to have a positive impact is voting, and people who don't vote are having less of an impact, he wanted to claim that that's not his statement of superiority. Holy fucking shit, that's a backpedal. So just be better, you know? Be better, because the only way 
we're ever going to get anywhere toward the goal of anarchy is if we're willing to humble ourselves enough to have enough conversations based on enough you know, reliably demonstrable facts that can prove us to be good sources on this subject and reliably demonstrable, like, action plans that can prove that we're willing to uh, speak louder than words to get enough people on our side to smash the fucking state.